guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Anna, colorful foodie, and I'm a food blogger who loves to talk about curly hair. So today it will be curly hair, specifically talking about two textures of hair. I have very curly hair, 3A, 3B, maybe 3C curls, but I have this situation going on right here. It's like a 2B, 2C. I'm not sure what's going on. So short of cutting it really short, to get bangs, which I'm not necessarily there. I can't commit to that haircut right now. I need to find a way to texturize this so that it can better match the rest of my hair. So I found that I can do that by using flexi rods. One of my followers on Instagram was gracious enough to suggest that I should use flexi rods on my bangs because they just refuse to curl also. I have this situation going on, broken hair, and this is because of my pregnancy. I was pregnant 16 months ago. My baby girl, 16 months, and um, ever since she was born, my hair just started breaking off. So that was one of the reasons why I wanted to go back to having, to embracing my natural hair. Using a curling iron or a straightener over and over on these broken pieces of hair, you can imagine that that was not making it any better so if anything i've made it worse way worse now i have this hair that i'm thinking it's starting to look good using the curly girl method i'm gonna have to work with this as it grows out we will calm this down with flexi rods let's go for this tutorial you will need a fine tooth comb a set of flexi rods, which I will leave the exact description for you in the description box below. And a, a spray, bottle. spray bottle. I love this one. I'll also leave the description for you. And a curl cream or wave maker of your choice. Next, choose the size of the flexi rod you want to use for each individual section of hair. Smaller, tighter curls. Larger, longer curls or looser curls. I like a mix depending on how much hair I'm choosing. So I'm gonna pick a mix of yellow, red, orange, just whatever feels right. Now for separating the hair and figuring out what parts you wanna curl and what parts you wanna leave alone. I obviously have these portions of my hair that need a lot of help. There's a lot of breakage. So I separate that, I add water to it. I don't like to make it soaking wet. I just like to dampen slightly so it can take the shape of the flexi rod and try to analyze how you're gonna tackle this if your hair is different sizes like i have the breakage which is shorter and it's curlier and the rest that's straighter from the heat damage so this is what i'm working with so there, there you go so then we add our curl cream i'm using diva curl wave maker i think it's light and it really helps molding those curls and then we get to the fun part which is actually rolling the flexi rod starting from the tip making sure that the tip of the hair the ends are wet and then i prefer to get elongated curls so i try and separate each wave and bring it all the way up to my scalp and then secure the flexi rod in place this is kind of challenging it takes some time but you will get it and it's exciting when you do moving on we go to the next section the thing to think about here is which direction do you want your curl to go into and that's kind of like how i went with this some curls are facing one way so cur some curls are facing the other way and that's okay because it's trial and error and it's curly hair so curly hair is pretty forgiving when it comes to which way your curls are going so same thing wave maker work it into the hair with some water and then curl up the hair you see i'm going in a different direction this time and it's getting a little easier to secure sometimes you're going to feel like your hair is not going to work that way you secure it the other way whatever works you see like you just do what works for you so my piece of advice is don't give up in the beginning when you're like this is just totally not going to work this sucks like it actually gets easier as you get through to the next pieces of hair things just start falling into place you start getting used to the motion see for this one for example i used a thicker flexi rod i wanted a longer bouncier curl and this one worked just fine and it's i feel like it's a little easier to secure when they're fatter 
And as I'm getting to the longer, less damaged part of my hair that is curling a little better, I feel like I need to use bigger flexi rods to sh better shape the shape of the curl pattern there and also use less water and less product because I just don't need it in this part that is a little healthier. So I'm using the fattest flexi rod that I found and that's going to be a better shape to go with my curl pattern that will match the rest of my hair since this is a healthier, more elongated portion of my hair. And again, I found that the fatter the flexi rod, the easier it stays compared to the smaller ones. <music> needs to be a redo sometimes you need to redo you guys or apply more water make it Things are getting a little crowded because this is like the front of my hair that does not curl. So. just to curl straight hair it's also to get the curl definition that you want Now that we're finally done we are going to either air dry or diffuse if you do this in the middle of the night like i do you really don't have a choice unless you want to sleep with these on your head which i really didn't so i used the diffuser or straight up just the blow dryer without any attachments it probably dries faster anyway don't use really high settings we're trying to stay away from the heat and have a little fun with it and now it's time to check if they're set and if they are we need to take them out. Now this part, my piece of advice is to proceed with caution, just slowly following and respecting the curl pattern so that you don't ruin this hard work that you just put in. Just follow along and kind of unfold each curl to preserve this beautiful pattern you created. <music>
as you can see, not every single removal of the flex flexi rod is like cake, right? I struggle a little bit with it, but as long as you're pretty careful with it and go slow and respect the curl pattern, you should be fine and your curls will, will turn out. It's easy to get frustrated, but then you see these beautiful curls and you're like, yeah, that was totally worth it. <laughs> So as you can see, it really took care of those flyaways, breakage, and basically my edges and made everything smooth. Um, it's a great uh, way to shape your curls in front of your face. If you have that texture issue where the front of your hair may not have the same curl pattern that you wish it would like the back or the underneath of your hair because we typically have a lot more heat damage on top. So that part usually suffers more. Something so. else I particularly love about this hairstyle is that if you have to wear your hair up or out of your face, say for work or whatever, training, it looks professional, it does not disturb the curl pattern, and it also saves your hair from having to slick it back, which from experience is also causes mechanical damage and will ruin your curls. I know what I'm talking about. This is why I'm doing this tutorial, needing to texturize my hair. And also after using or wearing your hair back, it also elongates your curls and makes it look more like your natural curl pattern. It's a win-win situation. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to give it a like, subscribe to the channel, as well as to the blog and my Instagram pages. I'd love to have you there. I'd love for you to leave me comments underneath, letting me know if you've tried flexi rods, what other things have you tried for texture, hair texture changes in management, especially through the hair transition, uh, which we're all in and we're all in together. So make sure you tune in for the next hair video or the next healthy recipe video. Thank you so much for watching.